what's going on you guys i want to do a quick little video right now and i've been meaning to do this video for the longest and hadn't done it yet and so the perfect time i felt like to do the video was while i'm in the car getting ready to run an errand so i can get it done finally so i want to talk to you guys and update you guys on getting covid while you're pregnant it finally happened to me i finally i don't want to say it like that but i ended up uh catching covid I went, what, two years throughout this whole little pandemic, working, flying to different places, um, and never caught COVID. And now, being pregnant with my compromised immune system, I ended up catching COVID while being pregnant. So I wanted to talk to you a little bit about that and how fun that was. Um, first, I know exactly how I caught it. Uh, I'm very in tune with my body. Um, I had some family in town uh, doing a basketball tournament and I ended up going to the basketball tournament that Friday and that Saturday. That Friday, I knew, I just knew it was, something was wrong. Um, the gym was very, very hot. I had a mask, but uh, it was so hot I couldn't really breathe. So I had the mask down trying to breathe in the gym and it was so many people around me like it even gave me like the heebie-jeebies like it's too many people around me um and so i knew i should have been more careful and i wasn't so it was definitely my fault i know you don't gotta tell me i already know um so that saturday went to the tournament again but um it was way more ventilated uh there wasn't a lot of people around me i was outside a lot so it was okay but still was in this hot gym without great ventilation sunday uh went to church and while we were in church we were sitting beside a um air conditioner unit that was just blowing straight cold air on me and so Later on that evening, I just felt like I couldn't clear my throat. Like it was <clears throat> all day, like couldn't clear my throat. And so I'm like, dang, like maybe, you know, we shouldn't have sat beside that, that air in church. Like that's was, you know, the problem. Um, so later that night, I was like, you know what? Let me just take a COVID test just to be sure. Like I'm one of them. I will take a COVID test if anything happens <laughs> just to make sure took a COVID test and it was negative. So I'm like, okay. But then when I woke up the next day, it was a little bit worse, like really couldn't clear my throat. And I decided to take my temperature and my temperature was like 99.8 or 99.9. .9. So I was okay, yeah, that's um, definitely not my normal temperature. So let me take another COVID test and took another COVID test and darn it, if that thing ain't say positive, I was like, man, shit. Like, um, so went ahead, let my family know the family that I was around, you know, so everybody could get tested themselves. Um, but, uh, I didn't really feel bad, you know, at first, uh, the next days after that, uh, I really did end up getting a fever. I think the highest my fever got was like 101 point something, but it was like the low points somethings. Um, and, um, I being pregnant you can't really take medication like that so the only thing that i was taking was tylenol to try to help break my fever keep my fever down and that helped a lot it definitely helped a lot uh me and my husband did juice shots we did ginger um lemon kanye pepper shots we were in the kitchen juicing it up like crazy um mandarin oranges were like my favorite thing in the world to eat <laughs> because i really didn't have like an appetite but i needed something um something juicy and sweet and cool and uh, so mandarin oranges was my friend and pho broth was very like that was my thing i was having pho broth delivered to the house every day sipping on some pho broth eating chicken noodle soup um, still taking my prenatal vitamins, taking more vitamins. I did, um, I was taking emergency like crazy, chugging it in my water. So I was very, um, 
active with fighting it. Um, I didn't have a lot of energy. I would try to like get up and move around because you know they tell you get up, move around, do something. Honey, let me tell you, I would get up, move around. 10 minutes later, I'd be out of breath. Like, oh no. <laughs> like it was that real. I would be out of breath and would have to sit back down somewhere. Um, it was so bad to where I had to put a chair in the shower with me because I couldn't stand up long enough to take a shower because I, I was weak. I didn't have no energy at all. So that was July 4th weekend of all weekends to have COVID. It was July 4th weekend um, and today is what, July 21st? And I'm just now starting to feel back to like my normal self. That's how long it really kind of took me. And I'm sorry, it's shaking so hard. Um, but that's how long it kind of took me to be back to my regular self. Um, the after effects of having COVID was kind of worse than anything because I didn't have, it was like, I didn't really have congestion while having COVID. I had congestion after I was testing negative and trying to get that congestion up out of my, my system and out of my body um, was kind of difficult. Like it wasn't just <laughs> coughing it up and it'll come up. It was kind of hard to, to get it up. So it definitely was um, interesting uh, catching it. Um, I believe my husband had it as well, but he only tested one time and that one time he tested his was negative, uh, but he definitely had the symptoms as if he had COVID too. He just didn't want to test again and get told you got COVID, but, um, now we're all better <laughs> and, um, we are back in effect. So yeah, but I just wanted to let you guys know just a little bit of how it was, um, catching COVID while pregnant, some of the symptoms that I had, things that I did to try to um, help my body fight it off. So if you have any questions about what to do, um, any questions about what I did, uh, just leave them in the comment boxes and I will answer those questions for you. But until then, I will um, give you guys a pregnancy update soon the belly is getting bigger and our baby shower is coming up in september i will leave the registry link in the comments as well if you would like to bless baby johnson with something off of our baby registry that would be so greatly appreciated i would definitely appreciate it like thank you so much appreciate it <laughs> um but i love you guys and i will update you guys later Thank you.